Hotel. A one-of-a-kind place for one-of-a-kind dining choices than anywhere on the boardwalk. Like Capriccio, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville, Finn's Bar at Landshark Bar and Grill, and now, a spot like nowhere else, Doherty's Steakhouse and Raw Bar, an Atlantic City institution for over a century. It's all part of the seaside variety, excitement, and gaming that makes Resorts Casino Hotel your choice for a full menu of one-of-a-kind fun. Book your stay today. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Meteorologist Bobby Clark here with an update on your forecast. We were just talking about this, I think, the other day uh, at one of the casinos. It's the one casino I still have never been to, and it's one of the original ones that were in Atlantic City Resort, so I have to definitely have to check that out. Let's take a look at the temperatures across the region, though. We see ourselves again, temperature right where they should be for this time of year. It should be right around, give or take, around 40 degrees. The problem is, as I keep mentioning all morning and this afternoon, it's the fact that the winds are just howling out of the north, even northeast, near gusts near 25 miles per hour. So now, obviously, these temperatures feel good, 5 to 10 degrees colder than what these thermometers showing for us. So definitely need to bundle up continually as we head through the rest of this afternoon, especially if you have any kind of plans to maybe go to resorts. You might have to bundle up and head some, go maybe have some dinner, put some uh, money on the blackjack table, right? Continue windy and chilly throughout the rest of this afternoon on into the evening hours and into tonight. Sunday, much better. We'll have some sunshine. We will have to deal with some wind, I think, early on in the day. Those winds will begin to calm down, I think, as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. And as for overall, the pattern, we're going to be above normal, I think, as we head right through the extended forecast, a good 5 to 10 degrees above normal. So this is really January. That hasn't been January, really, for this winter time. But, again, things can change in a flash as we head throughout the rest of this winter. So, obviously, we'll keep our eyes out about for that as we head throughout the next couple of months of winter. In terms of precipitation chances, we're dry straight on through, it looks like, as we head into uh, at least, I think the best chance will be on Thursday. Tuesday, there's a warm front pushing through. Could squeeze out a shower or two, but overall, I think the most organized rainfall will not happen until Thursday when that low pressure system finally pushes through the Great Lakes and off to our north and east. As for tomorrow, we'll see yourselves, as I mentioned, a better day on tap. 43 degrees will do it. Uh, again, the wind will be strong as we head out, especially in the morning and early afternoon. By the mid to late afternoon on into the evening, I think we'll start to see the wind start to calm down just a bit under sunny skies out there. It'll feel so much better than these gray skies that we dealt with all throughout today in that raw, damp wind. Take a look at future cast. Again, those gray skies will continue to be the story for us as we head into tonight on into early tomorrow morning as low pressure pushes away. Now we have a warm front that does move on in here, as I mentioned, on Tuesday through Wednesday itself. And I think that's where we're going to see the the return flow of the south, the southwesterly flow out there. So that one low pressure moves on off away from us, and another low, low pressure uh, exchanges places with it. And that one, I think, is going to bring us some more moisture and then start to give us that moisture as we head, I think, into Thursday would be the better chance on it to maybe early Friday. But again, there's no major Arctic air behind this, so we're not looking at a major plunge of cold air. And this is proof of it here. Look at what the models are saying. Good 5, as I mentioned, 5, 10, even 15 degrees above normal for this time of year. That means we'll be pushing into the mid to upper 50s as we head into the extended. Unbelievable as we enter the end of January. Seven-day forecast, Monday mentioned much better. We'll see some clouds in the afternoon. Tuesday, that warm front pushes through. I think the most best chance of seeing organized rain will not happen until we hit into Thursday, an exclusive NORCAST plus three days. As I mentioned, no real major Arctic air behind that low-pressure system. Temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. Have a great rest of the afternoon, everybody. I'll see you this evening.